One day in a coffee shop, during a casual conversation, we have decided to start a company in Germany. We had never thought of real depth of struggles before we started the company. It was very exciting before starting it, even more exciting in the beginning. But as it goes on, we have kind of understood that our tolerance to pain is not at all enough to run the company. I am my own boss, was very fancy and tempting to start. But to succeed, what you need to know is, it's gonna be a tough journey and you should be a better version of yourself every day to achieve success. Take our thoughts in a positive way. If you are ready, let's go through our story of GmbH. Saros everyone, I am Pravalika and you are watching Business Diaries. This is a humble initiative from bits of our experience for all the entrepreneurs who wish to learn a bit more. Today in this video, we are discussing about registering a GmbH. As always, individual topics are time stamped and relevant links are in the description. Now that we have decided to start a company, we developed concept and content. Then comes the crucial part, name of the company. The name should be unique, catchy, and it should reflect our operations. In our case, MC Pro is a mix of German and English words with the meaning hardworking professionals. Once the name is fixed, we searched for domain availability, bought the domain, name in GoDaddy and created basic email IDs and started creating website. Now we have a name and a website. Next step is registering the firm. When we came to registering the firm, we had no idea where to start, how to register and what all documents do we actually need. As a foreigner in Germany, we even wondered if we are eligible to do so. After intense research, we made an appointment with a German lawyer and met him, hoping he will unleash the secrets and feed us the information. It was nearly a dead end. The questions that lawyer asked, we barely understood. GBR, GmbH, mini GmbH, AG, etc. We couldn't just sit there and ask him to explain us in detail. At the end of the consultation, we received a 200 euro bill for literally no information. We got up, went home and did a lot of research on different registration options and the capital that each company firm needs. Everything seemed way too expensive except for GBR. With the help of an Indian origin German lawyer, we have understood the advantages of GmbH. But the problem at that time was 25,000 euro capital. As we are in the middle of arranging the capital, we decided to start the company as a GBR. It is the easiest and the basic form of companies. A GBR can be registered at the local Gewerbe Amt in a day. Following are the disadvantages of a GBR. You cannot choose a name. Your name will be the company name. Liability lies on the registered owner. However, we started our company as GBR on 12th 4, 2017. Once the registration is done, you can start marketing. Social media marketing was our biggest tool. We will make another elaborate video on marketing strategies. As a GBR, building trust with our clients was always a challenge. Mainly, it was difficult to verify the genuity of a GBR. As company was new, there were no testimonials to show our work and it was difficult to establish partnerships as a GBR. Therefore, it wasn't enough. Establishing a GmbH has become a necessity for our progress. There are many pros in being a GmbH and as entrepreneurs, we feel safer. Why GmbH? GmbH always provides security because in case of a loss, your private assets are protected. It projects a public image of legitimacy to its customers and business partners. 
income is taxed on average between 23 to 33 percent and managing directors can declare their salaries and pensions as business expenses that is betrips auskarbi there are special tax deductions for example we can write off cars leased to the company as an operating expense our main concern was legitimacy and the public image now we will go through some basic facts about gmbh gmbh should have a minimum capital of 25000 euros for gmbh there is no restrictions on number of shareholders one director is a must for starting gmbh its board of association and board can have any number of directors the gmbh can have one or more managers who do not have to be shareholders documents needed for establishment of the company before you approach notary to register your company make sure the following documents are ready with you one director should have permanent residence of germany passport business plan or company description proof of deposit of capital in the bank account basic requirements for a gmbh if you are going to work in the company too you need a neben tatish kites genehmigung or permission from your current employer draft of the company agreement that is an agreement between the directors liquidity planning should be prepared at least for a year prepare an opening balance sheet for the internal revenue office that is finance amt letterhead and website should be prepared prepare the following costs in advance minimum capital to start gmbh will be 25000 euros notar and court fee will be around 1500 euros other than this you may have additional expenses such as handle register fee hk membership fee etc here is a bonus point from our experience once your company details appears in handles register you will receive at least 20 fake bills from different fake authorities always consult your lawyer or steuer berater to check the genuity before paying now we will go through steps of establishing a gmbh check with the chamber of industry and commerce to ensure that the company name is unique and cannot be mistaken for another company the handle register provides information on all companies registered in germany after creating a business plan and arranging the capital of 25000 euros you need to approach a notary a notar is needed to register your company in the handles register he will prepare the necessary documents pay notary and commercial register fees to your notar in the meantime you should transfer the capital to a bank account which is open in the name of your company name in grundung for example in our case it was mcic pro gmbh in grundung means mcic pro gmbh is in the process of establishment once the registration is completed your account will be active once the name has been registered with the handles register the company will receive its unique identification number in between you should register the company in the local gewerbe amt too once you receive the identification number finance amt will send you frage bogen or questionnaire to your registered address you can fill the same with the help of your steuer berater once it has been completed the gmbh will receive its steuer id or tax identification number and umsat steuer identifications number means vat identification number if you are planning to hire employees you need to get registered with arbets agentur and receive a betrips number in germany it's always advisable to take necessary insurances for the company if you want to know about the must have insurances for your company please leave us a comment we will make another video it may look like a complicated procedure but trust us setting up the company is the easiest thing in being an entrepreneur if you have queries or suggestions on new topics leave them in the comment section and we will reply as much as we can this channel is to assist entrepreneurs 
As Elon Musk once said, startups have the capability to make the world a better place. Thank you for the tremendous response we have received on our videos and stay tuned for more. Auf Wiedersehen!